Yes, Team Seprin, Team Morada, once again, welcome to our channel. We are super excited. The support you have been giving us, it means a lot. May Almighty God bless you. And in case you are watching this channel for the first time, please subscribe so that you become Team Seprin family. Now, news reaching our desk in Ikwamba. Uh, court issues tied orders to Senate of Agachawa impeachment. As you all know, uh, jana kumekuwa na kizungu mkuti whereby wanasema the person gu alipeana malitawua wale majaji watatu ni justice uh, mwilu I think muna mjua vila mena mwilu yaya ndi alikuwa mechawua the three pinch ambapo wanasema aniagene stikisheria hii kesi nafa kusishwa chief justice mother kome Na mada kome, kuna trending video ilikuwa imeonekana akiulizwa pale makadara lokot kwa mba iyo kesi ya gachawa ikuazi. Akasema yeye kesi ya ijeweza kumfikishia. That means the argument of um, gachawa's lawyers it's valid. Kama haijaweza kumfikia, nani alitawua hawa watu watatu kuenda kusikiza kesi ya uh, gachawa. Another thing, uh, wanasema kwamba uh, according to uh, lawyer Dunstan Omadi alikuwa amesema waliwai elewana kwamba kesi haifai kusikizwa on Saturday inakuaje kesi ikafanywa on Saturday mpaka hao majaji watatu wakafanya nini wakachaguliwa ndio ninawaambia Ruto amemanage anataka anunue courts ama nunue judges and then the other, the other day mulisikia vizuri sana vile alisema kwamba high court inafaa ku suspend kesi ya gachawa so that iende supreme court whereby anajua asha nunua ma judges and according to me i felt like and ikawa ruto ako na rumors pengine hawa majaji watatu Hawata kuwa in favor of him. Hama, anajaribu kutufumba macho ili tusijue kwamba ni nini kikuwa hapa mbeleni. Yeye tuone kwamba yeye ako na majaji kule mbele. But in reality pia hawa majaji watatu ni watu wake. Mukumuke vile vile, wa Kenya macho yao yote iko kwa court. They just want to see how they are going to rule. Like you kisikiza vizuri sana vile walikuwa wana argue kwamba... Uh, a deputy deputy justice akona ruhusa ya kufanya kesi ama akona ruhusa ya ku decide vile uh, chief justice ange ange decide nikajiuliza hivi swali mimi ni mdogo wako a uh, wewe ni mkubwa wangu nita decide aje kitu yenye wewe mwenye sijui pengine vilonge decide kama sija ku consult always lazima hata kama wewe ni deputy kuna kitu uta hold on useme siwezi nika decide because mkubwa wangu ayuko tuseme umeandikwa kazi mahali kitu ime happen how will you decide for your boss and your boss is not there so lazima boss wako akwe kule yeye mwenyewe apeane apeane direction ndio ujue kwamba kitu yenye anasema ni hivi na hivi wa Kenya ndio nawaambia tusipokuwa macho Ruto is going to take over this country and we are going to be slaves in our own country there are some rumors kwamba Ruto is the one buying airports buying everything ketrako using adani pengine yeye ni sha order kwa adani so he is he wants to be the most wealthiest man in africa and guys if we are we are not going to be very careful he is going to manage na in fact yata me manage do adani shaenda <laughs> adani sha nini airport shaenda ketrako ndio hizo port of mombasa very soon so this man wants to be the most wealthiest and the most fearful man in this country now mumesikia vile vile wameanza kutishia makanisa ambao wanahubiri against guys we, we said lazima tu inject mpaka makanisani watu wa makanisa wameanza kulia wanasema kwamba machifu wanawaendea pale wanataka kusikiza wanahubiri nini hii ni Kenya gani tuko ambayo hatuna freedom of speech freedom of expression this is freedom Freedom ilikuwa imepiganiwa na mababu zetu ambao waliaga miaka ya kitambo sana. Anyway guys, I don't know what's your take. I just want to read to Jue uh, vile hipo mbona uh, nini court, uh, high court issue directive to Senate. Gachawa impeachment, high court issues directive to, to Senate and the National Assembly speakers. 
High Court on Wednesday issued orders in line with a petition challenging the impeachment of Deputy President Rigati Gachawa after a group of lawyers moved to court to challenge the ouster by the Senate. City lawyer Stephen Imbuwa jointly filed a petition with the Gema Guado Association challenging the impeachment of the embattled at going deputy president. Justice Pahati Mwamuye received the petition and classified it as urgent pending mission scheduled for October 25th. Subsequently, Justice Wamuye ordered Dimbu and his fellow petitioners to serve all the respondents and interested parties, issuing a tight deadline to end the day on Wednesday, October 2023. The judge also directed all the parties to file their affidavits in regard to the case. The petitioners and applicants are to serve the petition application and these directions on the respondents and interested party by close of business 2310-2024 and file an affidavit of service in that regard were more directed. The petition filed at the Mriman Law Court in Nairobi listed the National Assembly Speaker and the Senate Speaker as respondents as well as other interested parties including the Office of the Anton General. Petition we jointly filed with the Gema Guado Association challenging the impeachment of Rigati Gachawa has been considered as urgent and listed for further directions on 25th October 2024 before Justice Bahati Mbuwa revealed. Sorry. The case is expected to attract a lot of legal interest since the government is determined to settle the impeachment debate by having the office of the Attorney General and the Solicitor General arranging the matter in court. Meanwhile, the three-paint judge at the High Court consisting of Justice Eric Ogola, Anthony Mulima, and Freda Mugambi is expected to give a ruling on a separate case touching on Gachawa today at 3 p.m. The three will rule as to whether they will continue sitting and presiding on the impeachment case after his legal team objected to the decision of Deputy Chief Justice Flomena Muilu embanneling the bench. Separately, Gachawa, through his lawyer, John Njomo, wrote, wrote a, a letter the, to the judiciary demanding to know whether Chief Justice Martha Kome was involved in the selection of an, an even number of judges to determine to, to determine all petitions challenging the impeachment process in a letter dated October 20, 2024. Now, guys, wewe kama easy mambo zote zinaelekea. What's your take? What's your suggestion? Do you think kuna mambo ambayo yanaendelea hapa katikati ambayo tujui? Do you think this government wants to make their own uh, citizens who are slaves in our own country. Now we just want to read some comments. The truthful man's the truthful man's there to stay. Uh, he will just go. The process will be sanitized by court. I remember lawyer Judy Paremo working so hard to salvage Odinga's victory, only to be told hot air and goose chasing a chawa expected the same. Court must impeach both of them. What the court is issuing in direct is that it's if it's impeaching, then impeach both of them. Evil to we want Kachawa back to his office. Impeachment is not a walk in the park. It's a it's a process requiring a lot of well thought and proven allegations. It's a done deal. Kachawa is just enriching lawyers. Gachawa made a hero by made a hero by Ruto, our next president 2027. Parliament and Senate can declare courts unconstitutional. The case will go for three years. Impeachment postponed till further notice. Gachawa is there to stay. He is going nowhere. Senate has its standing orders already. How? The statement was a that the court has to dis to to sediction to hear the petition or not. Mambo ya orders he will talk our people, parliament and senate can declare courts unconstitutional. I saw somebody who was happy during senate ruling of Agachawa. I can see again happy when court orders different statements so far. PSC Kenyan at Ueleweki Jamani. If it's Gachawa, the whole administration of Kenya Kwanza regime is rotten. 
Here in Kenya, courts do the opposite. How many times did they stop affordable housing later? What did they say? It's legal. Parliament and Senate already reached decisions of which cannot be changed. Sijui kama tuta ukumiwa siku za mwisho. Kenyan schools already tusha ukumiwa ya kutosha hapa Kenya. Anyway, wewe kama mtazamaji wa C-Print TV, what you are taught uh, according to this case yenye imendelea, ambapo wa Kenya tumechanganyikiwa, atujui what to do, hatujui where to go, tuko hapo tu, tumeachu hapo stranded, hatuna mtu wakutuelekeza, mara watu wenye wanerewa katiba, awatueleze vizuri, yani sasa itabidi sisi wenye tuchukue katiba, tuanze kusoma ndiyo tuelewe zaidi. Because mali tunelekea jamani, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, to Team Cyprin and Team Morara, Team Kenya, I can say thank you so much. May God bless you. See you in our next video. Bye bye.